In the past, I made a video about ice, and in it, I featured a blue ice cube that I made. This video went on to becoming the most popular video on my channel by far, and it got me thinking. If I got that many views by just making a single color ice cube, then if I were to make a rainbow one, that could probably make me the most famous person on the internet. So I've decided to begin my quest for the rainbow ice cube, and with all that being said, let's get started. So the first thing I needed to do was decide what size ice cube I wanted to make, and I thought it would look the best if I made a really big one. And this Tupperware container I found in my kitchen seemed like the perfect size. Now that I knew the size of the ice cube, the next thing I needed was the color, and I went with this food coloring I found at the grocery store. Now my plan is to make the ice using the six classic rainbow colors, and the next thing I needed to do was to figure out how much water I could actually fit inside the Tupperware, and then divide it by the six equal parts. So the idea that I came up with was to first fill the Tupperware with water, and then divide it amongst six identical wine glasses. Now that I had all the water perfectly measured out, it was time to color it. Thankfully, the box provided the three primary colors, and I was able to use them to make any of the colors I was missing. And when I finally finished, it was really satisfying to see them all in a row like this. Now that I had all my colored water, the next thing I had to do was to freeze it, and the idea was to do this one color at a time. So I started by first pouring the purple water into the Tupperware, and then I went to go put it in my freezer. After a couple hours, I would then repeat this process with the next color, and when I eventually came back to it, I was really excited to see a nice layer of purple ice. Wait, what? Where would the purple go? However, my beautiful purple water had now turned this ugly, dark blue color, and all the dye had been pushed to the middle of the Tupperware. What the heck? I was honestly really surprised to see this because it had worked so easily in the past, and as a last ditch effort, I decided to try it with the blue color since I knew for sure it had worked before. This time, I left it in the freezer overnight, and when I came back to it the next day, this is what I had. The Tupperware was now filled with that ugly color from before, and at this point, I was really confused about what was happening. What is this? I decided to take the ice out of the Tupperware to take a closer look at it, and honestly, it just made me kind of sad. I had seriously underestimated the engineering requirements of a rainbow ice cube, and my dreams of being the most popular person on the internet were slowly fading away. With all that being said though, I was nowhere near giving up, and I decided to try something different. I thought it would be a good idea to go back and make a small blue ice cube again, and try and figure out what I was doing wrong. So I quickly got the ice cube tray that I used in the original video, filled it up with water, added the blue food coloring, and left it in the freezer overnight. And when I came back to it the next day, I had made some blue ice. However, when I popped out the cubes and took a close look at one of them, I noticed something kind of weird. The dye had once again been somewhat pushed to the center of the cube, and this is the moment that I realized something. This ice must be freezing from the outside in, and I think this is why the dye keeps getting pushed to the center of the cube. So I had to think of a way to get around all these issues, and this is what I came up with. I would put the now colored ice cubes into the Tupperware to take care of coloring the center, and then I would add some water with some more food coloring to hopefully distribute the dye as it freezes. I also added way more dye than before and left the lid off the Tupperware and make it so that it freezes more evenly. I ended up once again leaving this in the freezer overnight, and when I came back to it the next day, I was really excited by what I saw. It might not have been perfect, but I had created a nice colorful layer of ice, and this was really promising. Now I just had to find a way to do this five more times and then combine all the layers together. So I got started on the green and yellow layers next. To do this, I added these green ice cubes I made into a Tupperware with the blue one, and very anxiously added some dyed green water on top of everything. I was really worried that this would destroy all my hard work and set me back at least three days, but thankfully it seemed to more or less be okay. I then quickly put this into the freezer, and when I eventually came back to it, 
It seemed like it kind of worked. At this point, I was getting really excited. Now that things were starting to come together. This process does take a long time though, and after over two weeks of my hands looking like this, and going through three boxes of food coloring, it was finally time to take the final ice cube out of the freezer. And I honestly couldn't believe I had actually done it. It might not have been the most beautiful or perfect ice cube ever made, but to me, it represents a lot more than that. This project ended up being a lot harder to put together than I thought it would be, but I was really determined to see it through. So even if this video doesn't actually make me the most famous person on the internet, I learned that if there's something you want to keep on working towards it, and one day, you might just live in a world with rainbow ice. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you can check out my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.